Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So uh, a lot of people, they were asking that, uh, Naveen, can you please prepare one more video on how to prepare a resume and everything? What are the different things that I have to mention and what is the, how many pages that we have to maintain in the resume? So uh, I got a couple of uh, a resume sample and some uh, professional resumes also that I got it and then I found it really cool. And I always prefer maximum two pages of resume that is more than enough okay and again that again guys it's up to you you really want to maintain five or six pages of resume which looks really ugly now like i have seen people are giving me resume with nine pages or ten pages which is like absolutely uh, i really don't uh, prefer those things so better to avoid uh, you know eight pages or nine pages unnecessary maximum uh, you know one or two pages maximum according to your experience and if you really want to show so many things that is that maximum two pages of resume more than enough so here I have a couple of samples you can see. Uh, I'm just hiding the name and LinkedIn profile phone number. And uh, but here overall you can see that this is a, such a nice section. Here you can see you can write your name here and then your designation. And uh, I would advise one more thing over here that uh, better you maintain some your Git repository here as well. I mean Git repository URL you maintain. If you have any blog because we have some open space here, right? Some left <coughs> space is left here. If you have that some blog also or any YouTube channel or any medium link that you want to showcase that you can uh, show it over here. So I think uh, that will be a better approach to do that. You can utilize this particular space over here. Okay. And then uh, other than that, it looks good that uh, don't write unnecessary those, uh, you know, a typical objective. It's clearly written very nicely written over here. The professional quality experience with 5.5 years experience and uh, what exactly looking for, what are the different experience and ex uh, expertise in manual testing web testing automation and api testing i think that is uh, that's really good one instead of writing those typical uh, objectives so i would prefer that okay you can write uh, these things a basic professional experience about you and then you can start your work experience section here that uh, where exactly you're working and just mention one line description of your uh, the client the which client if you're working in service based company what exactly the location or something like that you can mention that you don't need to write some long paragraphs for about the application and everything that you can avoid that okay then other than that then the different achievement and the task that you can uh, write it over here you can write in fact your responsibilities also you can write it over here and then uh, maybe more points you can add according to your experience these are the samples you can take it from here and then you can uh, write your involvement your ownership your responsibilities your uh, achievements what are the different tasks things that you are maintaining over there and i would advise one more thing here that you can write that what are the different tools that you are using for example you are using zira you are using selenium you are using with java you are using for example jmeter and maybe postman and something like this you are using some apis also like that you can maintain over here okay with a separate tool section you can add it for this particular project then and you have two or three projects or two or three companies you can same thing you can follow the same format over here some uh, 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 you know uh, the location also that you can write it and then exactly same uh, things over here also you can write it like that but just a resume you have to define in such way maintain some really good keywords like different tools technologies some catchy keywords just you try to write it over there because when you upload this resume on nokri.com or any portfolio where uh, you know uh, all these search engines they will pick the keywords good keywords like that okay don't write a plain english a sentence just simple write some really good use some really good keywords like that then uh, if you come over here in the left hand side section this section is really good these are the keywords actually some really good keywords um, is written and it's clearly highlight highlighted over here as well before that uh, you can see the photograph you can pick if you really want to pick that if you are comfortable it's always good to have the picture Okay, just have um, one passport size photograph and the rounded photograph. This is called round photograph. You can crop it rounded online. Also, you can do that and good, nice picture that you can you can uh, put it over here. Don't put any fancy picture, just normal picture. And then about your email ID, your phone number, your location and your LinkedIn ID, you can mention here like that so that you can utilize this white space also here. And then you have different skill set that you can write it. Okay. Don't write under skill that, okay, manual testing, then plus automation, better you write some tools over here. These are the catchy keywords. Use your keywords properly and still you can utilize some space over here as well. 
and then about your language uh, you can write it full proficient like maybe english hindi whatever that you want to write it that you can do it if you really want to highlight about your interest or something that basic section you can write it over here do not write too much about your interest that okay you are into dancing or you are into this thing and all such things this is not your bio data this is a curriculum vitae this is your resume actually so don't write uh, all such uh, unnecessary things over here guys okay then about your education what i say that uh, in this particular resume i would prefer this education over here at the end and then achievement whatever you have done in your company any kind of achievement any kind of a star award or rockstar award or any kind of uh, extra thing that you have done or any uh, community uh, contribution that you are doing it i think you just move this section over here and then education section over here like that so you can swap it between these two guys and then you can use it here and uh, this entire education and achievement you can still shift it over here because i can see there are a lot of this uh, white space you can shift it over here and then you better you write some more achievement and task if you have let's see at uh, one more company or one more project you can write okay like this in this same sequence but try to avoid one thing that uh, let's see you have written exactly five bullet points here and say the same five bullet points you are writing over here as well and for this project also you are writing it and for this project also you are writing it that doesn't look good it means you are writing the repetitive things again and again just copy paste involved in the test case designing involved in the test automation or like that just try to uh, write that what exactly you were doing what was your actual role like that okay and then i would advise some add some flavor of agile also agile plus uh, sprint a uh, cycle and all such thing one line that is more than enough do not write unnecessary paragraphs over here so i think uh, that will be the better approach you can achieve that and then in education also write your education degree from your college and pass out and that's it you don't need to write unnecessary things over here about your college achievements and all such things after 5 years 6 years uh, nobody is going to ask those achievements guys maximum what you can do is you can maintain your percentage you can maintain your uh, uh, cgpa also let's see 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 or whatever or your percentage 85% or something like this you don't need to write your 10th class percentage or 12th class as a percentage just try to avoid that after 5 or 6 years it doesn't look good it looks very kiddish that you are writing your 10th standard percentage also over here and do not write that you were really good in college time and really good in in your school time your extra curriculum activities or something like that try to avoid on the professional resume okay your resume should highlight your work experience and your overall it experience if you are into it it okay otherwise it doesn't look good and try to use as much as catchy keywords which are very popular in the industry and make sure don't bluff anything okay let's see if you have written rest assured over here and you don't know anything about rest assured or having very very basic idea about rest assured please don't do that okay so don't write unnecessary things because people will catch you what exactly people they do it they write okay i know c also i know c++ also i python also java javascript everything the moment i ask any question in c++ and python then you are got so don't write unnecessary things over here so this resume according to me it looks really good i would say i would uh, write 7 out of 10 for this resume that's uh, i can share this resume also with you guys just have a look and then and you can modify and you can uh, modify the template and you can write your own uh, description and everything accordingly then let's see some more resume i have one more uh, this uh, candidate shared with me i'm just this is one year experience the previous one was around 5.5 year experience but such a nice a uh, beautiful resume you can see it over here this person actually uh, uses a uh, objective but i would advise that maybe professional summary or your expertise you can write it over here and then your personal summary personal description that you have written you can write it over here same thing just add a git repository or any medium blog that if you are writing that you just add it over here and then uh, skill set that this person is uh, as written over here which is like really really nicely uh, covered and uh, some really good catchy keyword java selenium test ng cucumber bit bucket and all such things you can also write tdd you can also write bdd these are the catchy keywords you can write it okay attd also you can write it you can write agile you can write uh, zira all such things you can write quality center some cert keywords also you can add it over here then you can see that okay yeah this is such a nice uh, formatted resume here you can see that okay yes this is my um, uh, i would say manual experience in qa infotech and then qa infotech also there is a second project okay like this and but this person has not given the project uh, name actually okay or maybe uh, somewhere over here the qa infotech is a company name but uh, 
he has not given the project name so i think better you write the one line project name also that also important here also and here also then that was the first company that uh, software development intern in delhi transgo limited or something like this this is such a nice resume for one year experience guy it looks really good and then uh, for education for one year experience guy you can mention your education your degree your 10th and 12th degree also you can do that because you are just a fresher okay so that's fine you can write your interest also here you can write your certifications and uh, you can write your personal projects which is very very important if you having some uh, let's say immediately after uh, college you could not get the job but you were doing some freelancing or something like that or maybe created your own projects if you're coming from uh, you know computer science or it background you can um, write all these uh, important things over here see such it looks very professional in this resume okay and then the your photograph also you can add it over here and still if you really want to have some more information you can see this space also you can use it so it's a one page resume only and uh, what you can do is that uh, this section you can use it maybe some blog information if you have it or any medium information if you have it you can add it because right now we don't have any space left over here so better you utilize this particular space for blog and medium uh, url or whatever that you want to use it that also you can use it and then you can uh, add some more things that uh, what exactly your aspiration in terms of learning so what are different things that okay you are doing so that section also you can do that maybe achievements you can write it or maybe you can write that uh, your learning section also so this is also very popular these days people are actually writing the learning what exactly you are learning what are different courses or maybe a specific let's see machine learning or maybe ai that okay uh, these uh, things that you are learning from different things or different resources something like that you can mention that okay but don't write your uh, unnecessary certification information that okay udemy certificate i have 10 udemy certificates or i have uh, 20 these online certificates or something like that professional certifications if you have that which are actually valid and which are actually um, let's see you have given you have given is to give you certification and for is to give you if you have the reference number mention that number so it looks very promising it looks valid it does not look fake that okay someone has just for the sake of writing the is to give you this person has uh, written over here so i think for one year experience guy or two years experience guy see this one one plus years experience guy this resume looks much better when i get the resume for the freshers the some people they just write excel sheet microsoft excel pdf this is that mandatory thing guy right? these are very basic stuff what about your it skills what about your programming skills tell me about your projects tell me about your uh, computer science projects what exactly kind of framework that you are developing if you are working as a freelancer also you can utilize this space about your freelancer work okay that also you can do that so try to write some catchy keywords try to utilize the space properly and see this one thing if you notice the background is white see this background is totally white and then and the font is also really good and uh, these skills also coming in this particular blue sections like that and then the font is again white over here so it's a white blue and black combination looks very promising and i would say that okay i would say 8 out of 10 i'll give that on that resume as well okay so you can follow this this format also see only one single resume and almost everything this person has written over here that is looks very good i mean that's looking very good then we will see this is uh, another resume that is also another very simple format here this person uh, uh, having around 5 uh, years experience this is also looking good the left space is utilized with the help uh, with the skill set you can check it here and uh, here you can see see these are the skill set and uh, this is the personal information that you can check it and this is your name or if you really want to put a picture also here you can put a picture as well and uh, then if you see that yeah uh, again looks very plain what i would advise that okay here you can utilize this particular space for your uh, you know other stuff maybe phone number or something like that you can use it and then you can merge the skill set over here and then you can uh, use this entire section for your skill set that also you can do that okay and then write your important information about your medium blogs or <clears throat> any blogger that or git repository that you are maintaining you can maintain over here okay so let's proceed this uh, proceed further then uh, work history looks very simple and uh, what kind of project uh, this person has exactly what exactly uh, this person has written the project 1 project 2 project 3 and project 
and then uh, all these project description this person has written which is okay that's good good to know about that what kind of projects were there and the combined roles and responsibility from last five years that you are doing it uh, I won't prefer this because here I'm really not getting that let's see for these two three bullet points where exactly you're working in uh, company number one or company number two I'm really not sure about it that okay you're working as uh, participating in reviews in the status meeting in which project in which company the last company previous company last to last company so this part is actually missing here so don't combine everything together what you can do is that okay this is project one this is the company name and then in this particular company that or maybe this person is working only with one company and uh, Infosys Limited and Infosys Limited this person has actually worked with four projects that's why uh, this person tried to combine everything but I would advise that okay in project one this is the project one and then write its roles and the responsibility with this project only same thing project number two roles and responsibility for this and then for this and then for this you just write it like that so it's it looks okay it looks good that uh, yeah this is a project and these are roles and responsibility and this is your current project and then write a duration also are you working currently Okay, from last two years, from last one year, from last six months, just tell the duration also. And uh, other than that, uh, all such things that you can write it, your percentage for 10th and 12th, you can ignore it. Otherwise, it uh, good. So, and I would say that, okay, for this resume, I would say six out of 10. Okay, so these are the three sample resumes, guys, that I have. I would advise that, okay, for one or two or three year experience people that you can use this one. And then this is also the first one that I told you that also looks uh, very, very uh, promising, this one. Okay. But still, you can use a lot of uh, uh, spaces over here. See this entire space. Do not write unnecessary three, four pages of resume, guys. It it, it really, really, you know, bad. Okay. And use proper colors. <clears throat> See, again, the white background and the font is black color. And these sections highlighted with, the uh, you know, some... A background green color highlighted or something like this so better to use it like that so it looks very promising and then someone is taking the printout also so you know you know the hiring manager will look and then will give the more preferences over here do not forget to write some really good keywords that's also very very important the so keywords is actually the main important thing write some good catchy keywords and uh, if you really want to modify your resume according to the job description whatever the job description sent to you let's see they are looking for docker and you have not mentioned about docker Although you have worked upon it, but try to write that uh, Docker keyword somewhere over here. Okay. In your roles and responsibility or the Docker keyword here as well. So that there will this person because HR will get, get back to you once again and saying, okay, Docker is not mentioned. That's why your resume is not shortlisted. Okay. Could not be shortlisted because this, this technology is not mentioned in your resume. So better don't give that chance. Don't lose the chance unnecessary. You mention all those things and then you just uh, go for it. Okay, so these tricks will really, really help you guys because I have already like suggested these tricks to my other candidates also in my training also. And then most of the people, they always get the uh, maximum calls. Okay, when you follow certain things. Okay, I hope this is really uh, helpful for you guys. Just uh, if you have uh, any other advice to want to add, feel free to write in the comment section. I'll share the sample resume. Um, you just follow that and you can find these templates online available. If you want to take some resume services also that uh, you can do that. But I think it's very much doable in your PPTs or or maybe Word document also. You can easily do that. Hardly just need to sit uh, three to four hours and then prepare it. It's only one time activity and that's it. And then follow the same format, same template for next couple of years. Okay, that's all for this particular video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you're learning something from this channel. A lot of good things are coming and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.